Taiwan's Pension Reform Committee held its first formal meeting today, and questions were immediately raised about its legitimacy. Representatives of public employees, including military personnel, teachers, and civil servants, were angry that they had only six of the 37 seats on the committee, reinforcing their perception that the panel is rigged against them. After handing out letters of appointment to members of the National Pension Reform Committee, President Tsai Ing-wen stressed the urgency of the panel's mission. There are certain reforms that if not done now will be regretted later. But pension reform is so urgent that if we don't do it now, we'll regret it immediately. To prevent the breakdown of social unity, we want to narrow the disparity between different professions. But soon after Tsai left the committee's first meeting, a representative of public employees questioned the panel's impartiality. The selection of committee members was done without any transparency. Of 37 members, only six represent military personnel, civil servants, and teachers, who can vouch for the committee's fairness. After discussing the first motion on rules of procedure, the committee's convener, Vice President Chen Jianren, called for a vote and was immediately berated. Tempers were hot outside the meeting venue as well, where 600 protesters mobilized by a Pension Reform Oversight Alliance were gathered. They urged the government to look at pension reform from an overall fiscal perspective rather than going after public employees.